happy Wednesday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, again, there is a little bit of delay. So we always have this awkward moment where we're like, are we live? We don't know. So hopefully we are live today and we'll figure that out here in one second. So here we are and it is live. So um, I am super happy that we are here and it's going to be a great live stream. So as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let me know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods today. I'm so excited. We're here. Rachel is behind the camera <laughs> managing all of our different angles and monitoring comments. So we are super excited to be able to come to you guys today in this new setup. Like, I just want to let you all know, I love, 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 love this new setup and everything we've got going on for you all is amazing. So leave your comments. Let us know what you think of the setup. In today's video, you can already see on the table here, we are working with print and cut. And this is something in our membership group specifically, people have been talking about loving, hating, thinking about using print and cut. So let me grab this real quick. This is Cricut printable vinyl. And guys, I have a wireless mic so I can run around and you still hear me. Anyway, I'm not going to do that a lot, but this is Cricut printable vinyl. So if you guys want to get Cricut printable vinyl, you can do that at our links down below. It's the shop Cricut links down there and you can find Cricut printable vinyl. We absolutely adore printable vinyl here. It's really great. And I use it all of the time. Like you always see projects that we are making with Cricut printable vinyl, right? So one of the things is that people have trouble being able to put printable vinyl on their cars or anything that may get wet, right? So what we've come to figure out is that you want to have a polyacrylic sealant. So um, you can, they have this in like the um, paint form, or Rachel, what'd you call it? Like, like the being able to pour Oh, they have it in yeah. just a little paint. Yeah. Spray so they have it in spray or a can where you can paint it on. We absolutely are loving this spray. We do it for almost all of our projects that we want to have this polyacrylic stain on here. Um, the polyurethane is really great. You can see on here it's a clear gloss, it's fast drying, and it's going to seal in everything for you. So it has some, you know, different things on here, but there's a lot of different options <clears throat> for you guys to choose from. And we're working in our new home decor collection. So it's the home collection at makersgonnalearn.com. Rachel, what is everyone saying? We've already got some questions. Okay. Misty wants to know, can you make t-shirts using print and cut? That's a great question. So you are more than welcome to use print and cut to make t-shirts, but you want to make sure you're using printable. Now listen to this. This right here is printable vinyl. What we've used here, you know, different things. That's printable vinyl. What you're going to want to use when you're making t-shirts is printable iron on or printable heat transfer vinyl. It has to be heat transfer vinyl for anything you're doing with a t-shirt. What's our next question? Uh, Kathy wants to know, did you get all of this new technology from Santa? Uh, well, we did not get all of this new technology from Santa. Um, it is thanks to all of you guys for supporting everything we do here um, and allowing us to upgrade for better video production. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this experience better. Um, we've invested quite a bit of money and time into figuring out how to be able to do this. We have a few different camera angles, as you've seen, um, but we're just super excited. Rachel and my buddy Joseph was actually able to set it all up while I was away in Mexico last week so it's been a lot of fun are there any other questions yes um okay where did we get the spray and can you spell it out yeah so let's switch to that second camera and we'll just give them a nice close-up um this is the minwax polyurethane so this is again minwax fast drying polyurethane i like the clear gloss because who doesn't want to have a little a little glossiness, you know, um, it's really nice, but they have other finishes. I'm sure there's a satin finish. You can use honestly anything you would like um, to seal it with. Like this process you're gonna find could work with anything, right? Like you're gonna be able to do that no matter what. So any type of sealer, any polyurethanes in yeah, the there's world. A ton of there's, there's a ton. Of there. They all do the same 
Okay. They all do the same thing. Krylon has a brand. Minwax has a brand here that we just love. So anything like that, you guys are going to be able to really enjoy. And it really breaks down the question of what do I do when I want to use printable vinyl and put it on something that I may have on my car that I may have outside. So anything like that, that is what you're going to want to use is get this spray sealer. And we're going to talk about it all throughout the live stream. So if you have questions, hold them. Um, and we will go over using this here in a little bit. Um, but again, we are using the Cricut printable vinyl. If you would like to use our shop Cricut link, that does give us a little affiliate commission at no cost to you. And hey, we have a coupon code with Cricut. I think it launched while I was in Mexico or something. Rachel, have we talked about it on a live stream? I don't, yeah, maybe they, once. Once, I don't know. But our 10% off coupon code at Cricut is simply MGL. That stands for Makers Gonna Learn. M M G L. Do that backwards. MGL for 10% off and free shipping over like 50 bucks or something. I don't know. Um, so feel free to use the coupon code, but the best way to support everything we do here um, is use our shop cricket link down below um, because the coupon code is a gift to you. Not that doesn't help us out at all. So anyway, I am super excited because these cactus that we're going to put on a cutting board today are from our new home decor collection. How many of you guys was able to watch our live stream from yesterday? Are there any anyone tuning in from yesterday? Let us know in the comments. Rachel, is everyone excited to be here? Everyone I'm super so excited. excited here. We already have a few more questions if you're up for um, Let's go. What uh, are they? Mom says, is the uh, printable vinyl available again? They didn't have any over the holidays. So they were out for quite a while and I'm not 100% sure if the Cricut printable vinyl is back in stock or not. Um, but if they're not, honestly, head over to Amazon or any other place and look at the really highly reviewed ones. That's what my number one thing would be. I've read in Facebook groups that people love the Avery brand or anything like that, but I love Cricut printable vinyl and that's like the only printable vinyl I use. So highly recommend it, but if, if they're out of stock, they're out of stock. You know what I mean? And we have some questions about, uh, do you already put spray on the bottom and then do you spray over it? Yeah, so we'll, we're about to go through the entire process. So if you have questions, continue watching and we're going to go through everything from the printing process, cutting, and sealing procedures. Because even Rachel, when we were talking through this idea, had a few um, questions or didn't understand what exactly we were going to do. And I can understand why you guys at home could be confused too. So we're about to break that down. But first of all, um, if you all want to get our cut file that we're using today, which are the this adorable cactus, let me share with you guys. Look at our cactus friends. These are adorable. These are four of our print and cuts that I absolutely love from our membership site. But um, we have over 600 more digital cut files that you're able to get with the membership. So if you guys want to get a membership linked below, go ahead, click that first link and get your membership today. It's gonna to give you access to over 600 digital cut files. It's gonna give you access to our video trainings, our exclusive member only Facebook group, the free commercial license, everything like that um, you're going to get in your membership. So we have lots of fun trainings, great stuff here um, that we really do adore. So right here is our three different um, membership tiers. We have a monthly, a six month, and a yearly. I love all of our membership tiers, but the one that stands out the most, the most popular is our yearly. And here's why. You're getting all of our bonuses. So everything that we produce that's exclusive, our, member, our year membership tier pretty much has access to, okay? So you're going to get um, two or three e-courses. You're getting three e-courses completely free. Then you're able to get access to um, our new fonts that are coming out. I'm so excited. We have like 80 something fonts launching um, a week from last Tuesday. So a week from yesterday. So on the 22nd, we are launching our fonts. Who is ready for that? Yeah, um, cool playing around with them yeah, Rachel and Courtney are making so many amazing projects for our font launch. We've been working on that all day today. So many great ideas and we're getting awesome techniques for you guys to use with fonts. But if you want to get a membership and you want access to our fonts, you want access to $150 of video training teaching you how to use the maker, how to use design space, 
how to build a business with your die cutting machine, go ahead for that year tier. As you can see, it gives you that discount. So instead of paying um, $19.99 a month, you're only paying $15.99 a month billed yearly. Um, and that ends up getting you three months free compared to the monthly. You see what I'm saying here? So you're getting that three months free with this price being billed every 12 months. So again, that's the financial incentive. Then you're able to really enjoy all of our benefits and who doesn't prefer a one-time billing? And that's why we're able to pour into the bonuses and different things. So are there any questions? Yes, um, people wanna know if this can be used on plates and cups and things that people eat off of. Yeah, so we do not recommend this as food safe. There's handles on our cutting boards today that we're actually going to be like hanging up. So these are not actually really for use, I wouldn't say, just because cutting boards need to get super wet and different things. If you end up cutting an apple or something on one of these and you feel comfortable with the corner having one of these adorable cactus images on here, that's up to you um, if that's for, for you. But I wouldn't say and swear by saying this is food safe one bit. This is not food safe. But if you have this on a tumbler, I think this additional polyacrylic is really going to help keep that lifespan and extend it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And Jenny has a question about our ever so popular hedgehog. Hey, model. Jenny. She says, it cut a square around it instead of around the image itself. Is that how the file is set up? I love print and cut and use it often. Yeah, so our print and cut, once you do, after you print it, it prints this square around it right here. Um, and then it should be able to go through and cut it. So just as you see here, this went through and um, printed this, but then you put it in the machine and it cuts. Now for the hedgehog, there may be um, for your image, and I'll look into it, there may be some type of background you need to clean off of the image, but I highly doubt that. So stick with us and send us an email if you feel like this is not a typical error. You know what I mean? So anywho, definitely we, Rachel, we are about to hit, last time I checked before the live stream, we have, oh, I'm not doing my job. I'm getting text tones, Rachel. Oh. I'm getting texts. Um, guys, I love this new setup. Can I just take a moment? I love it. Everybody loves it. We're getting a lot oh. of comments. They said the camera's seamless. They love it. Good. So right. They're all for it. This is great. And I want to give you all a PSA. After the live stream, we dropped some more money <laughs> and got Rachel a mic. So she'll be mic'd up just like me here in the next few weeks. So we're super excited. We just ordered it. I say weeks, it's gonna be here like Friday. So God bless Amazon. <laughs> uh, but I do really love this setup. So I hope you guys enjoy it as we figure out how it works. Um, what was I talking about? Do you remember? Oh my goodness. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's really funny. You're you kicking mean, the camera. You mean before your phone went off? Before my phone went off, yeah. I was uh, about to show something. I have no uh -huh. idea. It's okay. Um, back to what I was saying with these images. I'm trying to think, oh, if you have your image and you need support, send us an email. Um, it's linked down below. If you have any questions throughout the entire live stream, our customer service is there to help you and make sure your crafting goes flawless. So if you're a beginner, if you just got a Cricut, we're about to hit 51,000 YouTube subscribers. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are one of the brand newbies, um, here at our channel. Welcome. We're so excited to have you. Um, we love our crickets. We love our Explore Air friends um, and all of these machines are able to enjoy our membership site. So anyway guys um, Who's ready to get crafty? Me. Is Rachel you want to come okay. over and craft? I'll do this. Oh, yeah, I can manage the comments they don't see you today. <laughs> Oh, are there any questions before we get started? No, but uh, Carl D says just a heads up, Butcher Block has food safe poly. Ooh, so Butcher Block has a food safe poly acrylic. So if you do need a food safe to put on plates, dishes, anything like that, Butch Block apparently thanks. Is that Carl? Mm -hmm. Carl, thanks for letting us know. I appreciate it. So and Gina says, can you print text from Design Space? You sure can. So what you are able to do, and we're going to have a dedicated video about this because we have fonts launching next week. Um, this is going to be really good. It's actually really cool that you're able to um, match print and cut with patterns. So like some of our digital papers that you see with our membership, 
um, you're able to take those, put it in Cricut, and put text over it and make that text print and cut. Super cool. We'll have some videos coming out. That's a great video idea. Thank you. Are we ready? Anything We're ready. else? We're ready. Well, all right. So we already have this um, printed and cut, but what I want to do um, is go ahead and share with you guys the process of putting this on. Um, but before we do that, let's go over here. And what I need to do, I didn't do this before the live stream because we got a little sidetracked, but hey, this is more learning for you. We're going to see if this is uploaded in this specific iPad um, iPads account. So let's scroll through here. It, Carl said they sell it at Lowe's. The food safe oh, cool. So if you need food safe um, poly acrylic, get it at Lowe's. Thanks, Carl. So, okay, guys, who is ready for training on how to import the file in and for print and cut? This is a really great tutorial. If you all are brand new to using your iPad or iOS app, this is exactly what you're going to need to do when you get your membership and being able to enjoy all of your print and cut files. So, okay. Now, a lot of people say they get this page a lot on our site, and it's because, oh, can you press a button on it? A button? Yeah, a button. you should be able to. Oh, no. Um, press that red button back there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you press oh, okay. Are we back? We're back. Yay! Excuse that. Um, this camera has to be touched or something every 30 minutes or it goes to sleep. So glad we didn't lose audio. Anyway, back to our, oh, they always were able to see that screen. I freaked out for no reason. Anywho, <laughs> you see this page right here and you are going to want to click sign in. So all you need to do if you ever see that is click sign in. Watch how I bookmark my logins. Oops. So I bookmark that and then click log in. Guys, please forgive us as we're working through some of these kinks. These are some things that you just cannot expect to come up. So right here, this is our dashboard for our membership site. Now guys, we talk about our membership site so much just because we work on it and put so much into it. So if you're a year member, you get access to everything you see right here. We have the Facebook group. Every member gets the what vinyl should I use. Every member gets our PDF um, collection printable, which I love because you're able to print out and see every file you have access to. So this is really neat. We love talking about it, talking about it. It's 27 pages, Rachel. It's getting so long. Hey, that's good though. It's People awesome. More it. files. So anyway, that's there. If you did not know, you can print that out. If you're a year member, all three of these courses are complimentary for your year membership. So that's awesome. Every member gets our how to blog e-course because we're really passionate about helping you guys enjoy um, and share your message. And then our digital cut file dashboard right here is what we're gonna go to. These are all of our collections. So right here you can see that you're able to download each of these collections. There's so many as we're constantly growing our collection every month with new files. Um, this is a great place for you guys to get creative. You download these in a zip file with all of that collection's files. So we're going to download the home collection onto our iPad by simply clicking it. And we're going to give it a second. It's downloading. And you'll see here's the home collection. Now we already have a whole video teaching you guys how to do this, but what we're going to do is open that in iZip. So let's just leave that on the one camera angle. Thanks, Rachel. Sorry. Um, sometimes I give Rachel the wrong cues with what I'm talking about. We're so working we're working them out. Um, so we are uploading this into iZip and it automatically is going to extract those files. So you can see here, would you like to extract all files? We're going to press OK. So it's extracting those and we're going to click don't ask again home collection, and this is a PNG. So we organize our print and cut files only as PNG. So you're able to go through here. We have a whole video going through these, but here is our little cactus, Rach. Thank you. I love the cactus images. So now what we're going to do is go on over to design space. Since we've already did that, we're just going to insert and click browse files. So Again, since I'm going really fast, I'm sorry. We're gonna click upload and we're gonna click browse files. And then we're going to click on my iPad 
And you can see iZip has all of these here. Find the collection you're working with. And PNG, there's quite a few buttons to do this, to be honest. But look how easy and flawless this is once you, once you start. So as you can see here, I love this. What you're gonna to need to do is click remove. And we just wanna remove that background. So then once you remove that background, you can see here, um, it took away our little bitty thing. So we're gonna click undo and we're gonna revert here and remove that background. Sometimes you wanna move this little, this is something I don't talk about a lot. Let me see if I can bring it up. So do you see that little uh, plus and minus? What you wanna do, sometimes I had this plus all the way up here so it deletes it was much. See how that went away just then? You wanna bring that down and look, it's back. It's so weird. So sometimes that can happen with your images and that really freaks people out. So you just wanna continue with that and we're going to click next. That is a, that's a new one. That's something we don't talk about too much. Um, and then once we're good to go, we are going to click next again. And this is not a cut image. This is a print and cut image. And we're just going to name it cactus. All right, friends, here we go. And this is four different cactus. We talked about it yesterday on the live. Um, we love, love, love being able to give you guys multiple images. So we're just going to insert that here. And it's on our map. So then we can size it. Now this one is pretty big. Like you can see, I love the sizes of these cactus. Um, so we're going to size this down. Remember, it has to be at least, um, the max is like six inches by like 10 or nine um, is the max that your Cricut's able to do. So you just wanna size those and then follow the regular procedure for being able to do print and cut. So do we have any questions? Uh, Missy says, hey. does anyone know if we can sell stuff using Cricut files? I'm not 100% sure, it depends. I think a lot of their images um, has access and ability to use commercially, but I can only speak for our images and all of our images. If you have an active membership, you get that free commercial use license with your membership. So we love that. But ours is hand lettered. And ours is hand lettered images. Like these are not fonts. We are launching fonts next week, which are their own bread and butter for our year members. All of our images, like these right here, like let me share, like look at this. These are 100% drawn um, pieces. You're never going to find these anywhere else. And that's what I love with all of our artists. So they're really, truly amazing. And I love being able to enjoy our cut falls. So if you're saying, Tanner, I, I've heard a lot about your membership. It is time for me to join all the fun. I want to be able to get the fonts coming out. I want all of your, your library of cut files. The number one place to get your membership is the first link below. So go use that link, get your membership today so you're able to start crafting and hanging out with us. We love that. So are there any other questions? No, we're good about that. Awesome. So what we're going to do to save time in today's video, since instead we had videos on printing and cutting and this image with it being four different images takes quite a bit of time to actually go through the cutting process and printing. Um, you follow simple procedures. We love our Canon TS8120. It's perfect for printing. Um, but what we're going to do, since we already cut this out, we are just going to weed it. So let me move this cutting board. And notice guys, we have not had to do anything with the, the acrylic yet. So just remember that. We're not doing a single thing yet. Carol says, do I need a special printer to print and cut? Um, you do not need a special printer to print and cut. Um, it just needs to be an inkjet printer, which most people have inkjet printers. You cannot use a laser or anything like that. Um, and it needs to be able to take eight and a half by 11. So, cause that's what printable, you can't print and cut 12 by 12 yet, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna weed this out. Rachel, I miss you holding the camera and it being shaky. Aw, dude, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm as Rachel talking about her shaky hands. I think Rachel was her own worst critic about being my videographer. I think the people are very happy with the setup. Are they? Yeah. What's everyone saying, Rachel? Give me some comments as I weed this. 
This is when I need your commentary most. Okay, let me get it. Oh, Missy says she misses you guys. Aw, Missy, you miss you. Oh, Tracy says, have you used printable vinyl on glass yet? If so, what are your thoughts? Um, I think it works fine. Like we did some on um, like some glass ornaments and anything like that. It worked really well. So um, hand wash. Hand wash. I would not. Yeah, I would not recommend dishwasher for any vinyl. Um, as there are not many dishwasher safe vinyls out there, but it is a definitely different type of material and boy You guys watching me weed this is probably a show And we do have a question about the free commercial license. Hey, let me know um, Nellie says I need to learn how to use my free commercial license Yeah, so you just need to if you have any like show that you go to that needs to see it which most people don't have to um, like show this to anyone because it's your, you know, your own business, but you're able to use our images for profit. So there's not really anything besides learning to build your business. And if you have our year membership class, you're able to enjoy that class um, for free. We have so tons of videos. You learn or anything, you have it already. Once yeah, you have it once you're a member and is, you have it as long as you keep your membership. So if you discontinue your membership, you no longer have rights to sell our images exclusively, um, you know, have that commercial. So you're not able, what that, what a license, what a commercial license really is, means um, that you're able to use someone else's artwork, something else that people have worked hard on, um, for your own profit. So that's what you get with our year member or our membership tiers. Um, if you're a member and we love all of our members. So there's tons of businesses in our group that use our artwork to be able to sell for profit and different things like that. So if you're making t-shirts using our files, that is okay in selling those. But with a lot of companies out there, they do not offer that commercial license. So that is only a personal license. And if they see you selling things on Etsy or anything like that, they could come after you for like copyright infringement and different things like that. So be careful. Um, that's my, my biggest tip. And then I need to weed this, I believe. And Trish says it all looks great. What camera slash software are you using? So I, there's so many different camera, like there's two different cameras, there's different software. There's a lot. We may have to make a video breaking it all down. Um, this is definitely not something I'd recommend for like a beginner. Like this is a lot of stuff to learn and monitor and different things. Um, I looked at a few different softwares, but a lot of what YouTubers were using were like apps and like iPads. And I just don't really like that um, for me personally. So this is a whole different setup. I mean, we're pretty much set up like a church. Yeah, <laughs> like, I wants to know if it's Switcher Studio. It is not. So Switcher Studio was one of the contenders. Um, we ended up upgrading uh, from more of Switcher Studio. Like Switcher Studio only worked on iPads and iPhones and things like that. This is our dedicated DSLR cameras. Um, so it gives us better quality, it gives better audio, things like that. So we're super excited about it. I mean, this is something we've been wanting to do for a while. But anyway, we've weeded our images. Here they are, I'm super excited. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lightly spray this and I'm gonna actually remove it from the Cricut mat, but I wanna make sure I put it on something else. So I'm gonna grab like two pieces of regular cardstock right here. I love being able to walk and not see a cord. Y'all can't see me, but I, I, I'm able to enjoy this. So I'm just gonna take two pieces of paper, set them right here. And it looks like this is gonna to want to fold up. So, hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know what? This is what you can do. Just fold it and then it'll kind of, yeah. This it is gonna be good. It won't hurt anything at all. No, no, no. So, what we're gonna do, just like so, it's here. And this is really great. So, all we're gonna do is give this a light coat. If you know this is going to get wet, you may wanna give it two light coats, three light coats. Um, so, you wanna shake it, just like we're doing here. And then we're just gonna start lightly spraying it. And I'm gonna move this cutting board. So just like so, you can see here, this polyurethane um, doesn't really give out any like too bad of fumes. I would recommend a well ventilated area and make sure you've got everything really well. Just like so, you can see it is going to like have these odd situations on here 
if you want to switch to this overhead camera, um, you're going to see that the backing, if you see here, the backing is not going to want to absorb it. Um, so it is just kind of sitting there. But what that's going to do, it's much better to spray it on something like this than spraying it on your actual finished project. So we're just going to let that sit here and fan off. Rachel, what questions, comments are we getting? What brand of polyurethane are we using? We're using Minwax polyurethane in a spray. You can show them here. We love, love, love this. It's, it's really super, awesome. Super three bucks. It's like three dollars. I mean, you can't get better than this to have some really great results. So. And we use it for other things. That, like we use it. For yeah, we use it for any like bigger projects, like any of those outdoor projects that you need. You need to seal it with some polyurethane or something. Um, it has, you know, it lets you know it has that long-lasting protection. Um, Durability is better with this. Different things. So what we're gonna do? This is gonna take a little bit to draw. Now, Rachel. With this, there are some downfalls. Um, wow. Using transfer tape isn't really as easy or as suggested just because you have all of this extra. But what I like to do sometimes is after it has really dried, I go around the image and, you know, wipe it off. But you want to make sure it's really dry. So we're going to see what we think about today's images. They It honestly dries really quick. Like it says on the bottle that it's fast drying. Um you know, fast drying polyurethane, but I usually don't believe that. You know what I mean, Rachel? Like I usually yeah. just don't believe it or I go with it. Nail polishes and it takes yeah, away. but this, you know, we did give a light coat. So feel free to go back and give another light coat. I'm going to grab a piece of paper towel and you can kind of see here. I'll pick up some of the excess just so you all can know what I'm talking about. You can see that in the yellow, like it's a little yellow, um, but this is just excess. So I don't know how much I'd recommend um, using like, you know, transfer tape after, you know, this, cause it could hurt the transferring. I always, with what I've used it for, if it's a Cardi Cal, ended up applying it just with my hand, like myself. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to take a cutting board. I absolutely love this cactus right here. Don't you, Rachel? It's so cute. I think it's my favorite. I, I think so. I mean, Rachel, this one's so adorable too. Uh, okay, I won't. What's everyone saying while I um, pull this up and apply? She says she loves your glasses. Aw, thanks, guys. I'm normally not wearing glasses, but thanks. So, okay, I'm just going to take this, and I want to put it on the right-hand side today. So, this is a, I mean, this is really easy to be able to Look at that take. On that <gasps> oh, my goodness. Look at this little, little cutting board. How adorable. And you saw how easy that was. Like, you may need some transfer tape sometimes, but polyurethane, the spray, this stuff is going to hook you up and treat you well when you're needing to be able to um, seal in any of your projects. We've gotten so many comments about this. And I want to say Auntie Tay was the first person that actually shared this idea with me. So Auntie Tay, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you all or watching one of her videos this week, comment and let her know. I said thank you. She's super sweet. And we love her over here. Um, and now we're just going to repeat that same process to this one right here. So we're just going to peel this up. And even with these bigger images, like you still, this shows you, you don't always have to have that transfer tape, especially if you're, you know, like me and always trying to look at ways to save money. Um, you don't have to have transfer tape all the time. So Patricia, hey Patricia. I know that Cricut is having a 30% off access member sale. Wow. So if you're a member today, use the links below. You support our channel if you would um, and get all of your awesome, awesome craft supplies if you're a access member um, for 30% off. So check out these little, oh, Rachel, the green on these cutting boards. Oh, I love it's this. Awesome. It really does. So what we could do, should we put this one? Should we put this one right here? Like right here? Or no? Is that too much? I don't know. Should we put this one? Where, where should we? Should we put one more next to each other? Do, what do you think? I like the, okay, let me look at the top one. Okay, let's think about it. Here, here's what we got going on. Leave, leave your comments. Like, let us know if you could try to <laughs> verbally describe in a comment which I one. I add any more to the to the top one, okay. I, think I would add the gray one to the bottom, the gray pot. Oh, you're thinking about this down here? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Oh, Yay. Okay, so we're going to peel this up. And again, this is kind of like Tanner. I feel frisky without using transfer paper. Let me just be real with you all. I do. It's like transfer paper is so comforting to me. And Tanner, for the people just joining in, <gasps> 
Hey! Uh, well, if you guys are just tuning in, we are working with cutting boards today. Just making some decorative cutting boards. Nothing crazy. You know, we're not too crazy over here. But we've been sharing all kinds of great ways to use our cutting files from makersgonnalearn.com. Um, what we've been doing right here, we've been using our cut files, which we love, um, and polyacrylic. So you can see here, um, we have this polyacrylic, which is really amazing. It's super awesome. And what we do is after we print, after we cut our image, while it's still on the backer sheet after you've weeded it, we give two or three coats right here, and then it's able to, you know, have that uh, superior durability, that long lasting protection and different things like that. So um, then after that goes on, you can apply it to whatever projects you wanna make. So today we made these decorative cutting boards with our print and cut images from our new home collection. So I absolutely love, love, love our cutting boards. They're so adorable. Like look at these, they turned out really great. And we are super excited for this home collection. So again, guys, if you have not yet got your membership, head on over to that first link down below and get your membership today because we want you guys to join our creative community. I'm super excited to hopefully hit 2,000 members today. I checked this morning and we're at 1,999 members. So if you wanna be our special 2,000th member or maybe we already have hit 2,000, I don't know, haven't checked in a while, um, be sure to use the link below and join our membership. We would love for you guys to get access to all of our cut files, um, our free commercial use license, our member-only Facebook group, our exclusive projects, our no ads, and then special pricings for our summits and different things like that. So here's the membership tiers once again. And remember this year tier has all the value, oops, pressing buttons, um, has all the value in here for you guys. I'm literally pressing way too many buttons. Um, it has so many different things. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. Oops, pressing too many buttons um, right here. So this year membership tier, it's a one-time payment every year and you get access to all the cutting files that we've launched over the past year. You get instant access to those and this pre-orders you into a whole nother year of cutting files. So if you're brand new to Cricut, you just found our channel and you love the free videos we make here, you're definitely going to love the membership with all the cutting files and different things like that. So it's so much fun. Um, and yeah, we are having a great time. At this time of the day is when we get to talk about and share our member of the day. But while I pick that, um, Rachel, are there any questions or comments? Hey. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So is the spray keep it safe if it's a little wet? After you yeah, so that's what, if you know it's getting wet, put two to three coats of polyurethane on it and it's going to give it that lasting ability. If you take, you know, a simple print and cut project and it's on, say this right here without polyurethane and you spray that, you are not, it's, it could smear, like your ink could easily smear. So um, you do need to seal that some way, somehow. We love polyacrylic. Maybe you prefer another sealant. That's okay too. And Tanya says, do hey, you Tanya. only get cutting files if you're a year membership? No, 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 no. So any membership tier gets access to our cutting files, our whole library to be exact. What the, what's the difference between the year membership tier and our monthly and six months is yearly members will have access to fonts. So over 80 fonts are launching next week, hundreds of dollars of value just in that, but you also get access to three e-courses, three different ones, teaching you how to use Cricut, design space, and to build a business with your Cricut, okay? So we highly recommend that. Um, the bonus courses honestly pays for the whole membership just because it's free, and then you add on the fonts and different things. You just get so much value. Um, so we're super excited, and we are loving the membership. So thank you guys for joining. If there's any current members here that enjoy their membership, feel free to leave some comments. Let us know. So there's any member or potential members on the fence about joining um, that they'll know. So what other questions are there? That's all we got. Well, how cool. I love this. This has been so much fun. We love hanging out with you guys and getting to chat. And this new setup is a little stressful, but I'm so excited to be upping the game for video quality and different things like that. It's going to be so much fun um, over the next few 
weeks, months to see what this setup expands to. If we add in another camera angle, imagine having a third camera, that'd be funny um, or anything like that. But yeah, so if there's any last minute questions, be sure to let us know. I know this is a little bit more delayed than typical, um, like our live streaming on my phone or anything like that. So what questions do we have? Stephanie wants to know the brand of the print cut we use. Oh, that's a great question, Stephanie. We love using Cricut printable vinyl, but they may be out of stock, but I would double check using our link below um, because we would love for you guys to still be able to use Cricut printable vinyl. Oh, and while you're looking for any more questions, I still need to pick a member of the day. And Carol would like to know one more time your printer. Yes, Carol, we use the Canon TS8120. Absolutely adore it. So let's see here. I'm trying to see who our member of the day is. There's so many different crafts and people are getting so crafty. I'm loving it. Um, so let's see here. Oh, oh my goodness. I did not see this. This is why I like to go through it. So Julie Ann, let's show this right here. Julie Ann actually got crafty with our new home collection um, yesterday and she made this adorable canvas looks like she painted or distressed the edges of it and then added the black vinyl oh, they see me rolling I love this file so Julie excuse me you are the member of the day thank you thank you thank you for being a member we love all of your projects God knew my heart needed you was another one that she made we love that um, so Julianne is the member of the day Thank you so much for being a member. We love having you in our community and we cannot wait to see what else you make. And then someone commented, boy, you are quick. Nice work. Oh my gosh. They're great. Oh, I love that. So many awesome comments over there. So are there any other questions about the membership or anything like that? Um, about the printer, I yes. want to know if the ink can bleed or not. Yes, so it you can turn bleed on in um, Design Space. I'm not sure if that's what you were they were asking, but um, yeah. Are there any other questions? Yeah, we've had like six or seven. I think it's the same person. I'm sorry if I didn't get to you. Okay. Wanted to know if we have any Mardi Gras files. We do not have any Mardi Gras files. We yeah. only re yeah we only release one collection a month, so it is really hard to be able to get all of them. But we are working on a members choice collection, which is go have like over a hundred files. Um, it's gonna be crazy. So all of those different ones that we feel like we've missed over the past little bit, we're gonna like try to scrounge them up. So we'll see if there's any space in that for some Mardi Gras files. I've never made any Mardi Gras projects. So yeah. Um, are there any other questions? No, we're good after that. Well, awesome guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Rachel is probably scrounging trying to figure out how to turn this off. I don't know yet, but hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.